Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. Today I have Matic Network update. Of course, let's see what it will do and a possible price prediction. It is a daily update, guys. If you like the content, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell button and share. So where are we right now? We are in the Fibonacci extension that I've drawn from this bottom 10th May, guys. You can see here up to this top 12th May and to this bottom here 14th May. I have drawn this Fibonacci extension so I can see possible future targets because I believe Matic will go upwards, okay? So right now, where are we? We are between 0.38 to 0.5 Fibonacci retracement, uh, extension, sorry. As long as we are going upwards, as long as we are going above the 1.18, then we are going to 1.31. So I believe, guys, and the reason I told you always that I believe Matic will go up is because of the Matic against Bitcoin chart, okay, that I will show you afterwards. So right now, and the one thing that I want to show you and I've told you multiple times is that I don't care about this bearish cross. I don't even care, guys, as long as we are making higher lows and higher highs for four hourly frame in the four hourly frame here you can see on the top left of your screen i am on trading view and i've typed the macd uh, indicator so right here when the blue line is above the signal line the orange line that means we are in a bullish scenario right like here okay when we are down that means we are in a bearish scenario but you don't have to panic when we are seeing the cross in the four hourly frame you have to panic though if we see the cross on the daily frame and the long distance, and especially on the weekly frame, like we saw Bitcoin, okay? So right now, we are going upwards. Probably the two lines here will meet and we will have a more of a bullish scenario for Matic. So everything is holding good. The volume here, it is declining, but we have good volume in order to say that we are going upwards. So do not worry about that, guys. And of course, now we are going to the SSL channel, green line here, buying opportunity, guys, buying opportunity, as you can see. And of course, the RSI in the 4-hour frame is still inside the 1370. We don't have any overbought situation. So if we had like this one, guys, like this scenario here, then I would tell you that we might have a minor correction going down. But not, that's not the case for Matic, right? Now we are going upwards, as I told you before. And of course, for the Common Channel Index, we don't have any overbought situation at all. We are inside the minus 100 and the 100, guys. And of course, right now we are going a little bit above. We might have a, uh, an overbought situation pretty soon, but right now we are not. So we have room to grow. You can see here the previous days, 12th May, in the previous days where we hit the one point uh let's see where we were 1.23 usd around there so right now guys we are going upwards i think and of course matic is looking strong and let's go to the daily frame in the daily frame the bolger bands the bolger bands here we are on the top of the bolger bands you can see here when we extend we go a little back retracing right now we will extend the bolger bands and we will trace back afterwards in the daily frame we are in an overbought situation however as i told you yesterday we are in an overbought situation but we have room to grow so when a non-experienced trader would tell you that yeah you can sell right now but okay that's not the case that might be not the case because we have room to grow according to other commodity channel indexes okay so right now we are in an overbought situation but as i told you what i wanted to see is something like this head and shoulders pattern and then falling down, okay? So we have room to grow. And of course, if we go to the MACD, better and better in the daily frame. We didn't get this bearish cross because we are used to, when we are seeing something like this, we are used to go and have this bearish cross, okay? It is the general rule here that we might get this bearish cross. But now we didn't. We got rejected here, went upwards, and now we are still upwards. So everything is looking still good for Matic in the daily frame. Okay, so for the RSI and the Commodity Channel Index, yes, we have an overbought situation. You can see here we approach also the top line of the Bollinger Bands. Everything is telling us that we are having, that we soon tend to have an overbought situation, but for now we have room to grow. 
So matrix against Bitcoin, I told you guys in my previous video, this is our target 1.618 and in case we make this level as a support, then we can follow even higher afterwards, okay? But this is our target, we are getting close, so this Fibonacci extension level actually works pretty, pretty good. We made this level as our support level, let's see, 0 0.40, 20 to 21, around there, guys, okay? 2041, you can see here, but I got, I got it on 20 and 21, I cut it a bit in the half. So right now we are going upwards in the Fibonacci extension that I've drawn because Fibonacci extension, because I believed that Matic would grow and so it does guys. So for Matic against Bitcoin, the 4 hour frame, you can see here, we are not in an overbought situation right now, we are tending to go and we might found a rejection here on the commodity channel index, we might go a little bit upwards and find rejection at Matic against Bitcoin on the 1.618 Fibonacci retracement ra Fibonacci extension ratio. So we might find a bit of a retracement here. We might actually not. We have seen it multiple times going upwards, breaking through and then making this a support level and going upwards. So we will see about that. According to the 4 hour frame, yes, we are in an overbought situation. We have some room to grow. We might not. We might move like this and of course break falling down. So yeah, we might retrace a bit at 1.618, we will see about that. Right now we care more about matches against Bitcoin in the daily frame and of course matches against Bitcoin in the USDT. You can see here in the daily frame, we are approaching when you go on the 4 hour frame, of course you have better results when you are drawing something and you are more close when you are in the weekly frame, for example, you don't get as best results as or when you are on the 4 hour frame, okay? So right now, we are close to the 0 0.40, 2042, 2040, 40, uh, I said it guys, and of course, let's say, let's color it with the red and the white letters. So here we are on the 1.618, what we want to see is making this support level, this level as a support level and go above 2.618 Fibonacci extension level. So according to the daily frame, we are good. We are having an overextension, an overbought situation, guys. We might soon just go a bit and go down and then make higher highs, higher lows for the RSI. That's what we want to see. We want to see after we go down, which is very, very uh, healthy, guys, to go down, to have a retrace, okay? We might want to see going like this. We might want to keep these to support levels. We don't want to fall down even more afterwards because that would mean further consolidation, further correction. So we go to the matrix against the USDT. And the reason we are bouncing between this is because we have this Fibonacci extension level. You can see here this candle is between the 1.12 and 1.18 against here tether us okay usdt we are and of course it is bouncing around there what we want to see now is going above making a nice candle that will use the 1.18 as a support level in the four hour frame then we can go and extend to 1.31 which i told you multiple times this is our target and why why matic doesn't care if bitcoin corrects because look at the look at the chart guys matic is outperforming bitcoin is outperforming bitcoin four hour frame everything is looking strong if a coin doesn't outperform Bitcoin, if a coin collapses against Bitcoin, this would mean that according to the Bitcoin chart, if Bitcoin corrects for about 5%, let's say, then the other coin will correct for about 10%. But if uh, an altcoin like Matic, for example, outperforms Bitcoin, then if Bitcoin corrects for 10%, Matic will correct for 7%. Of course, you can see here that we are outperforming Bitcoin. And for Matic against USDT, we want to make this now as a support level. We want to break the 0 0.5 and we make it as a support level. As long as we do that, guys, then it. I think it's all over. I think we are going to 1.31 USDT. And I was the first one, guys, to tell you that yesterday, do not panic about Matic. It looks good, while other altcoins looked seemingly looked bad because Bitcoin would correct more. And I've told you guys that the technical analysis of Bitcoin isn't the best 
while the technical analysis of Bitcoin isn't the best, Matic's network has one of the best performances along with ADA as you saw yesterday guys, along with AVE as you saw yesterday. So they have beautiful performances here and the reason is because they have something in common. They outperform for now Bitcoin. So if you are outperforming Bitcoin, you have nothing to be afraid of because if Bitcoin will eventually go up because it might have overextended the minus 100 from the commodity channel index, for example, on the daily frame and it is going upwards, okay, we will see if Bitcoin will make higher highs, higher lows, which I doubt by myself, guys, because the technical analysis doesn't allow me to tell you something to be to tell you a lie, for example, that Bitcoin is going to 69,000k. If the demand and the supply is there, if the demand and the halving of Bitcoin pushes the price up, yes, okay, I take it back, back. But on the technical analysis, I can't assume that Bitcoin will go upwards, okay, because it can't allow me to tell that. So right now, Matic against USDT, you can see here, we are doing good. We have the three white knights, as we call them, the three white knights. And the reason this is because you can see three green candles here. We go back, hammer candles, change to the momentum shift. I told you guys here, big buying pressure on this level on 94 cents, which was a bottom 95 cents around there. Then we were going upwards and that's why I drove this Fibonacci extension level. So everything goes according to our plan yet, guys. This is a daily update, so you don't have to worry. You don't want to panic sell, guys. I always want the best for you. And of course, I want you to be, I want to be as honest and of course, as to the point as I am right now, because sometimes it is very difficult, even with the technical analysis to say a price uh, prediction for the short term, because you don't know if this coin will go upwards or downwards. You are in between, you have a risk involved, so you can't really say, but the, here we are giving an exact price prediction right now. 1.31 USDT, guys. Everything now is looking good for Matic, while the other coins, for some other coins, doesn't look so good. So thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day wherever you are. See you soon with many, many more videos. Bye.